To get started with Facebook advertising, go to facebook.com slash ads. You could either use Facebook ads to gain more likes and build your community, or you could use it to promote your page updates and get more audience for it. Now click on create an ad. You can create an ad for your Facebook page, a Facebook app, or an external web page. Enter the URL of the desired page in the field provided here. To build more page likes, you can run sidebar ads. Have an effective headline and body copy so that the reader is interested enough to click on it. If the ads are for your Facebook page, you can define the landing page as any of the custom tabs or direct the visitors to your timeline. The ad image should not exceed 100 pixels in width and 72 pixels in height. For promoted post ads, make sure you promote your most interesting updates as these are the ones which will generate maximum engagement. Once you define your ad types, you can move on to the Sponsored Stories section. A sponsored story is a great way to reach people through those who are already a part of your community. Thereafter, define your target audience. You will need to be very specific in defining these, or you will end up with the wrong set of audience with a good amount of money down the drain. So specify the location and age as precisely as you can. The best thing about Facebook is that it helps you target people based on their interests. So you can define interests which are relevant to your brand. For better results, I would suggest you go with precise interest targeting instead of broad targeting. You may also go on and target people with more specific parameters such as their marital status, languages, education background and workplace. Now if you see on the right side, you can see the size of your target segment. These are the total number of people whom your ad will be shown to provide you to have sufficient budgets. The end section of the dashboard is the most crucial one. Campaign, pricing and schedule. Give your campaign a good name that helps your target audience identify it. Budgeting is very important and make sure that it is enough to get the desired traction. You can either set a daily budget or a set of budgets for the entire lifetime, that is, the duration of the campaign. Assign the start and end dates and the budget will be evenly spent across the lifetime. Pricing is a tricky part though. You either let Facebook take control of it or handle the cost yourself. I would suggest going with CPC as it gives you more control over your spends and monitoring your ads becomes easy. You can optimize your expenses based on per clicks and impressions. Facebook will suggest you a range to choose as your CPC. You can start with the lower range at first and then change it with time. That's it. You're done with setting up your Facebook campaign. You can review your campaign here. Now go on and make payment using your credit card. Once your payment is processed, your ad will undergo Facebook's review process. If your ad meets all the guidelines requirements, you won't have any issues and your campaign will go live. If not, you will need to make the necessary changes adhering to its guidelines. Read these guidelines here.